Whoa, this looks good. Just walking around Melbourne's Chinatown, a lot of these restaurants look amazing. A fancy looking Yakiniku place. There was a Wagyu buffet I just passed, passed by a bunch of hot pot places. I could spend a week just exploring and eating here. I was gonna go to this really awesome looking Chinese noodle place, but um, they close in about 30 minutes, so I think I'm just gonna eat here. This is supposed to be a very authentic Thai restaurant. Let's try it out. We walk into this place, they give you a little pat to fill out, and every single sheet on the pad is for one bowl of noodles. I'm starving, I got two bowls of noodles. First one, a bowl of noodles. Something I always get. One of my favorite noodles in Thailand. And this place is about to close in like half an hour. It's still a full house. Look at this, pork. Looks like a couple pieces of beef, some meatballs, sprouts. You can choose the noodles you want. I got really thin rice noodles. It's very rich, herby, very savory with a hint of sweetness. There's also spices you can put in there. Gotta add some garlic and vinegar. And then load it up with chilies. Chilies and vinegar, I think it's really necessary for bowl noodles. Just because it's so rich and savory. Oh yeah. No, it's absolutely perfect. The super thin noodles really soaks up that delicious broth. Well, wow, all those chilies are no joke. Wow, this is some flavoring huge noodles. This is so good. This tastes like Thailand. To call that a satisfying bowl of noodles, it's a major understatement. This other bowl is really interesting. I asked what the best bowl of noodles were here, and they recommended this. This is their crispy pork noodles. Squeeze some lime juice into this. I don't think I've ever had something like this before. Look at this. Crispy pieces of pork over flat egg noodles, some slices of pork on the side. And it comes with a bowl of soup. Soup is awesome. Soup is really awesome. That is a crispy, fat loaded piece of pork belly. Chase that with some of the dry noodles. And then chase that with a sip of the broth. The thinner slices of pork, a little sweet, tons of flavor. And the noodles themselves don't have a lot of sauce on them. It just tastes like it's covered in this very thin layer of pork fat. So this whole dish is a very porky dish. Especially when it comes to this broth. Add some chilies. Hit this with some vinegar as well. And just a splash of the fish sauce. This particular dish really highlights the cut of pork and also the springiness of the noodles. My favorite out of the two is still the bowl noodles. For everything I had here, authentic and delicious. Let's go get a bubble tea. Oh, this place got an avocado series too. There's like this whole area just full of bubble tea shops. Mmm. Mango green tea is awesome. I want to stay longer in Melbourne just so I can be here more. There's so many places I want to eat at. And today I'm just getting a preview of Chinatown. I'm going to be spending a whole day here tomorrow going to all these places I added to my list. So today's just really a scouting mission. One thing I definitely wanted to do in Australia is check out the local McDonald's and Burger King. Well, here they call it Hungry Jack's. And the area by my hotel, luckily, has both. So, went into the McDonald's. There's not much different on the menu. The most unique thing here are these pineapple fritters. Also, um, there's a few unique items from the McCafe menu, like what they call a toasty, and also hot cross buns. But I did want to try out their Angus beef burger because this is made from 100% Australian beef. This is a good sized patty with a couple of giant pieces of bacon inside, melty cheese, and barbecue sauce. Although this patty is a little dry, I could tell right away this is a better quality beef patty than the ones in the US. Just a much bigger beef flavor. You can also pretty clearly taste that this thing's got a good amount of fat in here. Mm, they just taste like good quality beef. A lot of times in the US, I don't feel like McDonald's burgers taste like that. I'm really excited to try this. So these are fresh out of the fryer pineapple fritters. Fried giant slices of pineapple. Piping hot right now. Oh my gosh. 
just is so good. Such a wonderful crunch on the outside, inside. The pineapple is warm, it's juicy. This is absolutely phenomenal. The pineapple is sweet, a little tart. Tons of juice is released. All that juice is trapped inside this outer shell. This tastes like a fried piece of paradise. Mm, absolutely love that. Okay, so looks like barbecue sauce inside a, a flat piece of bacon and some cheese. I really didn't think this was gonna be really even edible because the bacon looks like it's been baking on the Australian sun for the last two years. That bacon pretty much tastes like leather, but the bread's pretty good. I like the melted cheese, but overall it's not a bad sandwich. Finally, hot cross buns. This is pretty good. Inside is very soft. I like the raisins. It's got a nice chewy, pillowy texture. First time I've ever had hot cross bun before. Not bad. Best thing here, definitely the pineapple fritters. And now let's hit across the street and go to Hungry Jack's. So this Hungry Jack's is in a gas station. Whoa. That was like a burger tot. This is so interesting. And if you're wondering why Burger King in Australia is called Hunger Jacks, it's because a gentleman named Jack Cowan tried to bring Burger King to Australia in the 1970s. But there was already somebody who had 17 Burger Kings. So then Jack rebranded this to Hungry Jacks, probably because he gets hungry a lot. Anyway, there's quite a few interesting items on this Hungry Jacks menu that I've never seen before. First of all, they have this. This is called a Grill Master Series. And this is a Chicago Angus. So it's a massive 100% Australian Angus patty with a slice of bacon, cheese, and peppercorn sauce. This is awesome. It's a really beefy patty. You definitely taste that peppercorn sauce. I don't know how exactly Burger King does this, but this thing tastes like it just came off the grill. The patty is tender, it's juicy, it's complemented by a nice fatty piece of bacon. When you bite into the middle with the tomato resides, it just adds that burst of sweetness to the savory burger. Amazing burger. You can order these little popping boba bubbles now at Burger King for any one of your drinks. So I got a Coke with popping bubbles. It tastes great with popping bubbles. So these are mixed bubbles. I think there's bubble gum, black currant, and cotton candy. So it's three popping bubbles mixed together. Mm, that's awesome. All right, next let's try this. This is a Burger King tropical chicken sandwich with a piece of pineapple. I love Hungry Jack's. It's so much superior to McDonald's. I think the burgers taste better. I think the chicken sandwich tastes better. I think the BK Big Fish tastes better. I mean, when I bit down on this, it's just a perfectly fried, crispy, thick piece of chicken cutlet with sweet, juicy pineapple and barbecue sauce and bacon. I mean, this is a fantastic, fantastic sandwich. Sweet and savory. I had to get this too. I love spicy chicken sandwiches. And this was advertised as having a spicier sauce. This looks like a phenomenal chicken sandwich. Mm -hmm. Crispy, breading, tender chicken. It's a delicious spicy chicken sandwich. I still don't think it's very spicy. I feel like the spice level now doesn't compare to Popeye's regular spicy chicken sandwich. Can't imagine how spicy this was before. Oh yeah, that he's kicking in. It's spicier than a Popeye's and it's got a more lingering burn. This is nice. Also, had to get a Whopper. This is the Aussie Whopper. What's interesting about this is it has beets. Also, a fresh fried egg inside. The beets do add an interesting, slightly sweet profile to the Whopper. I prefer if there was an egg in my burger that it'd be runny. This thing hasn't ran in a long, long time. I don't think it ever did. I mean, I like the Whopper. I think these additions, just okay. This is really interesting. So, this is their new creation. It's a burger ball. That's not bad. So they basically took some minced meat and cheese and battered it up and deep fried it. I mean, it's been sitting here for about 10 minutes, so it's not very melty anymore. It's still crispy on the outside. I think that fresh out of the fryer, when the cheese is still melty and stretchy, I think that would taste pretty awesome. This is the sticky date pudding. So it looks like soft serve on the top and pudding underneath. Not a bad dessert. So soft serve on top, well, in my case, melted soft serve on top. The cake is cinnamony sweet. This is definitely very, very decadent. My favorite thing today, definitely that peppercorn burger. I mean, that thing just blew anything McDonald's has to offer out of the waters. Also, pop and boba, I think it works. They should do this in the US. This will be a big hit. And the chicken sandwiches are really good too. If you're craving a fast food burger while in Australia, Hungry Jack's, 
give it a try. This is so interesting on this block full of restaurants and businesses. It just looks like someone's house, but it's beautiful. Such an interesting looking place. Finally, dinner is a Mediterranean mountain of seafood. Some fried, some grilled over charcoal. There's lobster, prawns, fish filet, stuffed calamari. There's prawns and calamari skewers. There's Parmesan baked scallops. There's paella rice in the middle. There's mussels, a spicy fried soft shell crab. And these little fish they call crispy white bait. This looks absolutely spectacular. Start with one of these little white baits. Light and so crispy on the outside. Mm, fish itself, very mild. A splash of lemon juice, some salt and pepper. All you need. This is the spicy soft shell crab. I love this place. A little bit of heat. The season so beautiful. Like crispy on the outside. Mm, tender, sweet crab meat on the inside with a burst of hami miso. The lemon juice works so well with the seafood. Look at this, skewer of squid, peppers, prawns. Oh. The squid is as tender as they come, lightly seasoned, so you can taste all the sweetness and the freshness of the seafood. I mean, this giant plate of seafood pretty much has everything under the sea. Scallops, oh. Sweet, succulent, and cheesy. Not a single bad bite of seafood. And look at this, it's a stuffed squid. Mmm, stuffed inside the squid is prawns, fish, and some different fresh herbs. Again, grilled over charcoal. There's some sort of dye stuffed fish in here, stuffed into the sweet, succulent squid. So inside the mountain resides a mini mountain of paella. Oh, that's so good. That is just pure, buttery seafood flavor that's soaked into this rice. The rice texture is still nice and al dente. Oh, I absolutely love this. The fish is so good too. Flaky white fish, again, grilled over charcoal. It's mild, it's tender, and it just goes perfect with that rice in the middle. There's so many treasures to dig up on this giant plate. Oh, look at the size of this prawn here. This is gonna be awesome. Grab a mussel as well, and look at all that juice from the different seafood just oozing to the bottom of the plate. And all that juice bypasses the rice, giving it even more flavor. The rice is almost the best part because it is the most flavorful part of this dish. It's like when all the powers of the different seafoods combine, we're gonna get some phenomenal flavors. That is a smoky, delicious prawn head. This is a spectacular plate of seafood. Everything from the crispy bait fish to the tender catch of the day filet and that flavor filled rice. And every ingredient brings either additional texture or flavor. This is such an awesome plate of seafood and a great way to wrap up this food day. Started off at a Thai noodle place. That's probably one of the most authentic Thai restaurants I've been to outside of Thailand. And then being able to try the McDonald's and Hungry Jack's and finally ended up in this gym of a place. That's what I call a fun filled food day. And it's always all places I went to. Let's see down below for you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again. See you later.